This segment will show you the different input and connection options of the Panasonic Viera HDTV and how to enjoy the best high definition signal. On the right side of your TV's back panel, you'll find an SD card slot, two USB terminals, a digital audio output terminal, and four HDMI terminals. You can use these to connect SD cards or USB devices to view photos and videos or listen to music, and also to connect your high definition cable or satellite box. Below these terminals, you'll find the input connector for your antenna signal or standard definition cable box a LAN port for internet services, a PC port, component video in and audio in terminals, and also a composite video in and audio in terminal. Please note that several different sets of adapter wires are provided to make connections to this television. But of course, the main reason that you bought your new Panasonic Viera HDTV is to enjoy HD programming. There are several options for high-definition signal sources, including cable, satellite, or even free over-the-air broadcast TV. We will show you how to connect an HD receiver box so you can enjoy high-definition pictures from your cable, satellite, or fiber optic service. Now, get ready to connect your TV. Your best option for connecting your TV is using an HDMI cable. With an HDMI cable, both audio and HD video are carried on the same wire. HDMI is the one and only connection that you need between the TV and your high-definition satellite or cable box. If your cable box doesn't feature an HDMI terminal, call your cable company for an upgrade. Now, to make the connection, plug one end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI terminal on your cable or satellite box. Then attach the other end of the cable to the HDMI 1 terminal on the TV, and that's it. Now you also have component in on the back of the TV. The component terminals are your second best option if HDMI is not available. To use the component terminals, you will need this type of wire with five plugs. Start by plugging the red, green, and blue component adapter into the mini terminal as shown. Do the same for the red and white audio adapter. Attach the color-coded component cables to their matching cable ends, as shown. To the right of the component end terminals, you'll find the composite video in mini terminal. The wires to be used with this adapter are color-coded yellow for video plus red and white for audio. Using composite video in is your least favorable option. The connector is for standard definition devices, such as a VCR. And remember that standard definition won't be as sharp as HD, and it will appear slightly fuzzy. Now, if you have a digital audio amplifier, you can connect it to the TV through the digital audio out connector to play the TV's audio through your home sound system. To connect your computer to the TV, first plug the PC adapter into the PC terminal. Then use a VGA monitor cable to go from the computer to the PC adapter. Refer to your computer's manual for instructions on setting up monitor's output and changing display resolution. Once all your connections have been made, you can bundle the cables together using the cable clamper to route them neatly. First, insert the retaining pin on the wide end of the cable clamper into the hole right below the video end diagram. Gather your cables together and wrap the cable clamper strap around them. Then feed the tapered end of the strap through the strap retainer clip and clinch it tight. However, do not bundle the antenna cable and the AC power cord together, as this could cause a distorted image. In our next segment, we'll show you how to set up your HDTV for the best high-definition TV programming.